In this brief overview, we will give you a quick look at the 3D Photomaker tools. Pressing the button to the right of the header opens a dialog window with a quick guide on how to use the script that we can consult at any time in case of doubts. You can dock the panel in the area that you prefer inside the work area. Begin by pressing the Create Cage button. This will automatically create some grids that you need to align with the prospect of your image using the sliders that determine position, rotation, scale. In the composition, the script creates some layers. Do not change the names of these layers. You can select or deselect the grids of the cage depending on the image you want to project. To go back to the default values, you need to press the button to the right of the plus button next to each slider. Once the cage is aligned, if you want to create a 3D projection, you just need to press the Create Projection button. If you want to start from scratch again, just press the Reset All button. If you do this, all the values of the sliders will be set back to default values and all the layers created by the script after pressing the Create Projection button will be deleted. The Foreground tab is used to insert foreground layers in the 3D scene. To see how it works, follow our next tutorials. In this first video tutorial, we will discover the ease of use of 3D PhotoMaker. The first thing you have to do is to create a new composition, Full HD in this case. Open the Advanced tab Press the Options button and change the shadow map resolution from comp size to 4000. This step is very important, so if you are working on existing compositions, always remember to change this value, which by default is set to comp size. At this point, you have to import your image into the project, then into the composition, and then scale it if needed. You are now ready to open 3D PhotoMaker from the tab window. You have to create the cage and adapt it to your image using the sliders to adjust the position and rotation. For finest controls, you can use the plus and minus buttons. Let's also define the height, width and depth of the cage. The most important thing is that the cage must cover the entire composition so, in this case, it will be necessary to increase the cage depth without leaving parts of the image uncovered. If you press the Create Projection button now, you will receive an alert that informs you that the correct image is not selected. You need to select the photo and press again the Create Projection button and instantly a new camera will be created that you can move in this new 3D space. Opening a new composition and leaving the script window activated, you will notice that the button Create Cage is disabled. Press the Reset All button, create a new cage, adjust the perspective and create a projection. The problem in this case is that you have a foreground element, which must be separated from the background. Open the Composition Image Projection, double-click on the image and, using the Clone tool, remove the figure in the foreground. For more complex images, instead of using the Clone tool of After Effects, you may process the image in Photoshop, taking advantage of its more advanced tools. Returning to the main composition, you'll notice that the foreground has been properly deleted from the scene. Now select the image and move it to the top. Using the pen tool, create a mask to isolate the foreground element.
add a feather of a few pixels to the mask. With the masked image selected, click now on the foreground tab, then press the insert button in the scene button, use the slider below to bring closer or pull away the foreground image with respect to the scene. If necessary, move the image up, down or left and right with the selection tool. Import your own background image, create a new cage, adjust the perspective and create a projection. Import in the current composition the new item, mask the image using the pen tool. If the item has been previously masked, obviously this operation is not required. Select the item to insert, then press the button Insert in the scene. It will look like the top and the bottom of the foreground image have been cut, but, in this case, the foreground is crossing the floor and the sky of our projection, so all you have to do is manually scale down the foreground layer and then move it forward or backward in the scene using the appropriate slider. This process allows you to insert infinite foreground layers. Let's try, for example, to place a text. Create a new text layer, press the Insert in the Scene button and use the slider to set its position. You can create 3D projections even on images with unusual perspectives, like in this example, so you must use a different approach with the cage you create. For this picture, you need to rotate the cage by 90 degrees around the x-axis. In this way, the plan that normally represents the horizon becomes our sky. Working with this strange cage perspective could be less intuitive, especially when you use the sliders to control its position and rotation. Never mind, with a minimum expertise in the use of the tool, everything will become easier. In this case, the sky element of the cage becomes an obstacle to the projection, so we have to deselect it. Here we are, a new photo projection has been successfully created. You can also create 3D projections on a not conventional comp resolution. You can, for example, import a vertical image and then create and adapt a cage to its perspective. Now you can animate the camera, add in two keyframes, and even enable the depth of field.
In this example, increase the aperture and set the focus distance to close, then move it to the subject of the scene. As we know, this composition size is unusable for a video, so you have to adapt it to a normal video resolution. The thing that you can do is copy your composition in a full HD composition. Obviously, the height of your composition doesn't match with the one you've just created, so you could create a simple movement of the scene from the bottom to the top, simulating a sort of dolly shot with tilt.